All right, amen. We thank and praise God for everyone who tuned in and whatnot, amen. And we thank and praise God for those of you, amen, who thought of not robbery, amen, to call in, amen, on some of you guys' days off. This is President's Day, amen. We understand that many of us still have to work, amen, but many of us don't, amen. So we're going to put some trivia out there and whatnot. Again, um, what is President's Day, Amen. We're going to come back with the answer to that later on in the broadcast. But what is President's Day? To some of us, we that's the day where you go shopping and you get your sales and stuff like that. But, um, again, what does this day mean? Amen. Amen. Again, the name of the show is A Time of Reflection. So let's just reflect on what we're celebrating and the meaning of um, some of these things sometime. Amen. Hallelujah. A Time of of reflection lord in the name of jesus we thank you right now amen to god we thank you amen to god for this broadcast we thank you for those who have called in today amen to god and we thank you for our guest today amen asking god you continue to move continue to bless amen be a hedge around every listener amen to god that amen to god this interview amen can encourage somebody amen that's thinking about starting a business amen in the presence of adversity we pray this prayer right now god that you cover the line amen cover the amen armor bearer sister ruby amen to god if she's amen to god i'm um, holding the line up with prayer amen to god and covering us amen remember the overseer amen to god evangelist amen i'm um, adrian bernard amen god that you continue to bless and hold her down giving her wisdom amen pouring back into her amen to god that we can be blessed on this broadcast amen asking god that you bless the listeners amen not by power not by might but by your spirit we pray this prayer in jesus name and somebody said amen all right amen we think and praise god amen to god for everyone calling in on today amen again on president's day this is black history month amen amen and evangelists wanted us to take some time aside Amen to God and, and talk about, amen to God, a time of reflection. Reflect, amen, as a people, as black people, amen, how far we've come. You know, are we better off now today than yesterday? Amen to God. And, and what better way to examine that question than by bringing um, on some guests, amen to God, who came up um, during the civil rights um, era, amen, and not just came up but started a business, Amen to God, you know, through a lot of the um, um, the tensions of racism. Um, again, a lot of us, when we think of racism, we think it's just people to people. But a lot of racism was business as well. You had non-urban dictates. Uh, many of you that um, were in business know about that word. Amen. And non-urban dictates basically means, amen to God, in branding, um, a lot of uh, white businesses put in their um, branding contracts uh, do not advertise to non-whites and whatnot because it bring the it's going to bring our product down so only advertise in um places that um you know um have uh predominantly white people because we don't like want black people wearing our clothes or or uh sporting our products you know because it'll bring our brand down um and when black people found out about this because we were wondering when we were starting businesses um, why is it so hard for us to get advertisers? Because, amen, anybody that knows us in, in, in the business of entertainment, um, you know, that's your bread and butter, your advertising dollars. And, and when you can't compete with the, um, the white stations and whatnot, you wonder what, what was going on in television and in, in radio. And they had this thing called non-urban dictates. Amen. And, and, and hip hop helped shut that down. Um, many of you guys remember, again, uh, there was a certain brand. I won't mention it now, but um, they were saying we don't want black people wearing our clothes and whatnot. It brings the value down. So that's when black people, amen of God, started their own brand, started their own clothing line. And this is a time of reflection, amen of God. So as we reflect, amen, sometimes adversity encourages us to start our own stuff amen amen so, and, we, and we have a person on today amen to god he amen to god um has a story to tell um similar to that amen to god he came up during um 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 ebony magazine and whatnot you know we're in you know today you got several black magazines but you know as we reflect 
you didn't have that back then and and you know you didn't have money to start that up so again you know i'm gonna stop talking now and we're gonna bring on our guest again um present to some and introduce to others uh john blasting game now john blasting game um, again, he started uh, Today's Black Woman magazine. Uh, many of you read that on the regular. Um, he also started, um, you know, Hype Hair magazine. You know, you go into any store these days and, and you'll see these magazines. And, and also, you know, um, as an answer to Maximum magazine where they, they had all white women in there and they didn't have anything for the sisters. So he started a magazine called Black men magazine amen so we're going to bring him on right now introduce to some and present to others uh john blasting game mr blasting game welcome to the show how you doing fam i'm doing well thank you for asking and uh it's good to be on the show talking with all your audience there and it's a beautiful sunny day out here in in, in, in uh, uh monroe new jersey i'm trying to tell you you know because you all over the place i was about to ask you where you at today you know what i mean and, uh-huh. and stuff like that now you now you just came back to town not too long ago is that correct yeah we i was down in uh well actually i was in in the country i was down there at the mpa the magazine publishers association gotcha uh down there in uh fort lauderdale new jersey uh, fort lauderdale florida i'm sorry oh for real tell me tell me about that what, um, what you guys were doing down there well, it's an annual event for the uh, publishers uh, of ma- the magazines, national distributors, uh, and the wholesalers. Gotcha. We get together and we talk. We uh, talk about the industry and what's going on in the industry, what changes are happening, and you know how uh, the uh, economy is affecting the sales of magazines and the websites, etc., or the online magazines. How it's taking away from the newsstands. You know, we. That, those are the kind of things that we discussed down at that at that convention. Gotcha. Uh, we have we have people like Martha Stewart there. Uh, it's the it's the cream of the crop of the of the industry that comes down there every year. Ah, and you guys are the cream of the crop. I, I was researching, um, and um, New Day Publishing and John Blasting Game name keep coming up when it comes to the urban magazine genre and stuff like that. Like you guys, um, even even go back to uh, Word Up Magazine. Is that correct? Uh, Word up! Yeah, we uh, well, we uh, we're at Word Up magazine. We uh, started out with uh, Hype Hair, wow. and after Hype Hair, we had the Today's Black Woman, and and then after the Today's Black Woman, we saw what Maximum, the Maximum magazine, was doing with you know their their publications. Gotcha. And you know uh, they weren't they weren't supporting any of our models. So we right. said, okay, why don't we do something in a positive way, gotcha. but give it a eye candy type type situation. Now you didn't just stop at the magazines, but you you took your thing um, offline, um, you know, as we say today and whatnot, and um, you created venues and events um, um, so um, new faces could be seen and whatnot. Because um, as we know, like at the time. You know, it's hard for black models to get into the business back then. And even today, it's still kind of hard. So tell the people a little bit um, as we reflect um, and go back in this time of reflection. um, What did um, your company do to help um, new faces, um, black models, um, get into the um, all um, white industry, basically, and whatnot? So how did you... Um, effectively do that, if you will. What I do, and this is what, you know, we, what we started out, we started out as a, a regional show. Gotcha. We're invited, you know, we had uh, models from the Connecticut, New York, and New Jersey areas gotcha. uh, come out. And what they were trying to do, they're trying to break into the industry. And it was diffi- difficult for them to go to a Greystone Marco or, or Elite or one of the top agency and get to see uh, the agency people that would handle, you know, new models. Gotcha. So what I do, I bring over all the people from the fashion industry, all the people from the agencies, and etc., and say, hey, we do have talent. It's just so hard for you to see these talents and what have you. And yes. then they'll go and they'll take their books, their portfolios, that is, and they would leave them with the, you know, the agencies and. You know how many would t- actually take a look at the books? Right. They would say, "Leave the books and come back the next day." They right. wouldn't even take a look at them. Wow. So you know, I'm th- what I've done is I started to bring this over, and I'll tell you what happened. Mm. In 1989, okay, we had uh, one of our top uh, model, 50 models in the country, go through me. 
She won my show. Her name is Deborah Shaw. Okay. All right. Deborah Shaw is one of the top 50 models in the country right now. Wow. She started off. I sent her to Paris. She won my contest. I sent her to Paris. She went over there. She's modeling for the French Vogue. Uh, or, uh, she does Fashion Week here in, here in, New, in New York. Wow. Uh, any, any top fan, uh, fashion shows going on in, in Paris, she's in those shows. Valentino, all the top designers use her. Wow. All right? And it started right here with New Day. See. All right? Uh, you know, uh, we've had people that, uh, guys that just, you know, uh, that are now into the, the soap operas, et cetera. Right. Uh, they came into the shows, and, you know, they've gotten that opportunity. Wow. You know, uh, and, of course, in our black men, we started off the careers of uh Jessica Rabbit, Melissa Ford. Wow. Uh, we've taught Buffy. We taught, you know, we worked with Vita Guerrera, wow. uh, Gloria Velez. I mean, you know, all Esther Baxter. And, 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 and I, want, I wanted to ask you, you know, while we're talking about that, how did how were you able to establish this magazine? Because at the time, you know, like us today, you know, there's a plethora of black magazines that we can, like, draw from. But, you know, back then, you know, um, Take me there um, again about your resolve and stuff like that about, you know, how does John Blasting game, you know, start his magazine when you, like you said earlier, you were working for all these people and there were all these glass ceilings. So, so, so tell me what was the environment like around you and whatnot and that made you say, you know what, I can it do was this. Not, it was not easy. Wow. Believe me, you know, for, uh, for black publications, it is not easy. All right. So, so what I want to do now, I want them to hear your story. I mean, this is a beautiful testimony. Again, you're tuned in to uh, New Destiny Ministries, um, a time of reflection. And we're, we're celebrating black history. And we have with us today um, a publisher of a, a magazine that took off that most of you read today of Hype Hair Magazine, today's Black Woman Magazine, Black Men Magazine, um, John Blasting Game. So what I want you to do is tell um, your story because, you know, I, I know, I know, like you were saying, it wasn't easy and whatnot. But but tell us a, 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 a little bit about that story, because, again, as we reflect and whatnot, um, you know, there's resolve at the end of the day. You know, the Bible tells us to despise not your humble beginning. So take us there, if you would, in John Blasingame's story. Uh, I started out with Hearst Magazines. I, you know, I, it, it, it's, it's a long story, but I'll make it real re, real brief. I started out with Hearst Magazines. Okay. Hearst Magazines, with Cosmo, Good House, Harper's Bazaar. Gotcha. Uh, you know, uh, they, 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 you know, and I started out as their local rep at the school okay okay and you know i i um was covering a hudson, uh, one of the largest wholesalers in the country hudson county news gotcha all right i got uh, you know i got in there i um worked with them and you know they made me you know they passed over me three times because you know you know gotcha. of the situation uh, okay. for district manager gotcha all right uh, after the third time, I finally made district manager, but I know I saw the glass ceiling. Wow. Okay. Gotcha. That was, you know, that was where I was going to go. Okay. Okay. And then I went over to the, you know, I started, at, but I was learning every step of the way I start. Then I went with Metropolitan News Company, was the, which was the major wholesaler in the New York area. Gotcha. Okay. As uh, and I was, uh, you know, there's, uh, new circulation manager okay so every time i took a, a job and then i worked with ida lewis wow. with a magazine called encore okay ida lewis who was the founding editor of essence magazine started okay. her publication called encore i worked with her as her circulation manager for a while okay and then, and here's the then i went with you know but then that back those days as you remember well i don't know whether you remember but they were doing you know, a grant for black folks to start public, you know, biz, new businesses in the 80s and the 70s. Okay, okay. Okay, so that's how Ida got her, you know, her, her, that, uh, that publication started. That's uh, and uh, after I left Ida, I went with a company called All America Distributors, uh, and that was Players Magazine. I don't know whether a lot of folks remember Players and Players Classic and the Holloway House book line, okay. uh, which was the Donald Goins, the Iceberg Slims, okay. uh, the Radcliffe series, 
Gotcha. Uh, I got yeah. I got them approved. You know, I I got them approved for. Uh, there was a I was the first guy that got them approved for Macquarie's and Woolworth stores. Uh, I don't know whether you remember those. No, I remember. I remember Woolworth. Okay. Yeah, and there was a Macquarie line. These these were those the, the Macquarie, the big department stores in the Woolworth. And okay, I worked with him for a while, and I, when I left him, I went with a company called Distacord. So I was always learning. Gotcha. I stayed in this industry and I learned this industry. Wow! Uh, and I was uh, so after I left him, I started with a company called Distacore, which was a Canadian company. Okay. And they were shipped. They were. They had a title called Hockey News, but they, and, and a title called Rustler. Okay. And they wanted to get the uh, get break into the U.S. market as a a, a wholesaler, a wholesale distributor. Gotcha. And they promised me, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, well, if you do this for us, we've heard of your name. We got, you know, I, by then I've developed a good reputation in the industry. Okay. Uh, you know, we will make you the v, VP of the company, the U.S. market, et cetera. All right. Uh, I got them. I built them. And it was about, uh, I'd say, 75,000 uh, 75, gross billing a year, up to about a million dollars in gross billing. Well, they nice. brought it. Uh, uh, they had it. They took an office at the Gray Bar Building in New York on Lexington Avenue. Okay. Instead of they brought a guy in from London, England. I still remember the name. Okay, uh, you know Tony Barshu with, uh, and they, wow. they made him the senior vice president, okay. and I the the circulation manager. Okay. At that time, I said, "Okay, no more." See. I left that company. Glass ceilings. Go the, ahead. I I left that company. I started my own New Day Associates distribution. Gotcha. I told the the the, uh, uh, the clients that were there, look, I'm leaving, and they said, well, John, if you go, we're going to come with you. I took five clients with me. Wow. And that's how I started New Day. Wow. Okay. And uh, the, you know, uh, as I said, uh, then you know, after I started New, New Day and we started the distribution, I started a production company with the shows and etc. Gotcha. Then we started the magazines. Wow. So it has it been a career? Wow. Yes, it has. Has it been? Has it been easy? No, it have not. Oh. You know, have I had days when I said, "Oh my God"? Yes, I have. But I believe in God, so See. I, I I gave Him the glory. See, but I didn't lose direction. All right, Amen. So we thank God, Amen. God, that was uh, the interview um, when we were talking with um, John. Blasting game again. We thank you, praise God, for those of you that tuned in on President's Day. Amen. We gave you some trivia out there. We asked you, What does President Day mean? Why do we celebrate it? And again, that's um, President Washington's birthday. Amen. Um, every third um, Monday in February, uh, we recognize um, our first president of the United States birthday and whatnot. So today, while you're out there shopping and stuff like that, you know, that's your, um, amen to God, your um, um, a time of reflection um, thing that you can take with you tidbit today, amen to God, as you reflect while you're shopping, amen to God. Now you know what President's Day is because sometimes we just throw these holidays together. we like, hey, what does this mean? But amen, that's what that is. We're celebrating the first president of the United States birthday amen all right so again we thank and praise god for you listening and stuff like that um again definitely go check out the archives we're going to have it up on the youtube page definitely go to um uh, new destiny 54 those of you that have twitter and amen to god when you go to the twitter page all you have to do is click click the uh, youtube link from there and you can listen to amen all of the broadcasts amen so amen god bless you amen and may heaven smile upon you Amen. So I guess at this time, we're going to turn it back, amen, into the hand of um, Sister Ruby. Amen. So God bless you, Sister Ruby. <laughs> 